Drive. Well, ladies well, well, and well, gentlemen. Well, 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 three holes in a row. Well, 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 indeed. Uh, you just heard Pete playing through two guitar amplifiers, and as I expect you've worked out by now, uh, one of them has valves in it, and the other just has an iPhone in it. It's incredible. Basically. Really. <laughs> yeah. With so, no screen. Yes. Uh, the one on uh, the left, as you're looking at the screen, is the new Fender Tone Master Princeton. Uh -huh. So this is an incredibly lightweight um, amplifier with no valves in it at all. Everything is, you know, a very powerful computer chip um, trying to sound like one of these, which is the, it's a brand new amplifier. It's the, it's the current Fender reissue of the uh, 1965 Princeton Reverb. But mm. could you tell which was which? So we might as well now do uh, the reveal and then talk about it. So give us a chord, Mr. Pete. Yes, Mr. Lee. Here we go. That's that one, right? Yeah. It's really deep. Yes. OK. Yeah. Uh, and if I switch to the red switch. That's this one. It's... Um, New strings. It's slightly un bizarre in the room because, again, uh, yes, I think it's possible to tell when you're switching between two amplifiers, but is it possible to tell that I'm switching between a valve amplifier and a solid state amplifier or just two good two amplifiers? Two Princetons that it's, have got, one has been yeah, played for two months and the other one has played for so seven years. A little bit of just, um, welcome, by the way, to yeah, another welcome. Anderson's Please video. Please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. We give away uh, stuff. I don't know what we're giving away this month. We're either giving away these two Victory V1 pedals or maybe that prize has gone and been given to someone yeah. and we're giving something else away the key the key to Lee's chastity belt yes um <laughs> but please like and subscribe so yes um what we've essentially set up in terms of miking these because i'm sure that eagle eyed a month you'll go well, hang on that's got different mics to this one what you just heard for that beginning bit with just the sm57 on both microphones they're yeah. both pointed at the same place on the speaker they're same the same distance. distance from the speaker and that's all you heard in that beginning bit the reason we've got the Royer, which is the sort of the silvery colored microphone down there in front of this amplifier, is when we start showing you the 
emulated outputs on the Tone Master, one of the emulated outputs uses a Royer. So we'll go, can you tell the difference between <laughs> that and that? Um, yeah. Okay, mm. so I don't need to go into Tone Master in too much detail. It's the no. third or fourth amp now that Fender have released in the Tone Master yeah. series. Lots You've of videos got up there. Deluxes, Twins, uh, Super, Super Reverbs, uh, and now the Princeton. The one thing that the Princeton has done differently to the, all of the predecessors, mm -hmm. and it's probably the reason why I'm most excited about the Princeton, is in order to keep the weight down on the Deluxe, the Twins, yes. and the Super Reverb, they didn't use the same speaker as the Valve versions. They found a lightweight neodymium magnet alternative. Neodymium. And although in the room we were going, it does do an incredibly close you know, um, tonal sort of match. Actually, when we close mic them and recorded them, you can hear the difference in the speaker in a more pronounced way. Yeah. On the Princeton though, they've used the same speaker. So we've got the 10 inch Jensen, I think it's the P10 basically. So each of these, regardless of whether it's Valve or uh, Tone Master, is the identical speaker. So it'd be really interesting to see close mic'd whether they sound you know, now yeah, yeah. Al almost, yeah. you know, indecipherable. Yeah. Is that right? Indecipherable? I don't even know if that's the right word. Indistinguishable. Indistinguishable. Indistinguable. Maybe that was the word. So, um, I don't know what else we're going to really sort of do on that. I, I kind of feel like we could do some, we could compare the vibrato. Should we see if we can get it to, to sound the same in the room? Because I think right now you set all the knobs the same, right? Oh yeah, that's could true. Could we just try to tweak one? So it sounds. Do you think it sounds? Exactly yeah. Like, so, I think it, for where I'm sitting, it sounds really similar. But you were going, oh, it sounds a bit different well, over I, here. Well, I tell you what sounds the most different is when you sit here. This one sounds different to this one, and then when you go over here, you it get sounds, almost the opposite way. Yeah. So but it's really it, the only person that's probably hearing a really true uh, sound it's is you. Oz. Or oh, you, sir. yes. <laughs> now, yeah, what Pete's basically alluding to is all I did for that opening bit was put everything on five, except for the reverb, which is on three. Which is a lot. Pete's completely right that that doesn't, that might not necessarily be the best way to try and tone match the two. You might want to start. So let's start with this one. Sounds good though, right, doesn't so it? so over to this one. Really where I'm sitting, it's got more, it's got more mid-end, more, more mid-range. Now that's mid, interesting mid of course the one control we don't have on this amplifier is a mid-range yeah. control. But then, it, so, yeah, but mm. still. You see what I mean though, it's got bit, more top, more needs a bit end. more top, top and bass. Where I'm sitting, this sounds more <laughs> trebly than that one, but that's because of where I'm relative yeah. to where I am. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm well off access. So I'm going to just. It go sounds to, great. We're going to go to Oz. Amazing. Oz, you tell us what's the closest we can get it to sound in terms of. Uh, all we've got is bass, treble, and volume. I can't. Sounds similar, don't they? Well, I can hear a difference, but what but I don't—that's where you're have, sitting. I don't have the words to describe what's different. It's not—it's not like, like oh, one's more trebly or one's more bassy. It's no. just like I can hear you're switching. Yeah, maybe it is a presence thing. Maybe the you know the presence knob might might be. Yeah. But again, that could be the speaker's been used a little bit in this one, you know, uh, you uh, know, and that one, you know, that's kind of new. I don't know. I think they're both brand new, but you might. Yeah. Be, okay. Yeah. So let's let's. But that's what I'm saying. It could be a small right. thing like that, you know. I think like love. one of the things that's most no, no, impressive again about the Tone Master is how nailed on they've got the reverb. So let's just, let's go like up to number seven now. Yeah. Uh, we'll start with the, the, this is a spring reverb now. So here we go. wouldn't be able to tell you man i would not be able to tell you if you blindfolded me and said so which is the real reverb and which is the digital one and it and it's 
again, I don't want to go over old ground. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite use of digital technology. It's not it's so Bluetooth, good. It's not Bluetooth apps. There's it's no not, screens it's not, on it. It's, it's, not, it's not 50 million models. It's not, do you want it in its US high gain mode? Or it's just, can it just be as close to this as possible? Yeah. Can have the same look, the same features, the same everything. Yeah. Three. Um, Put a reverb back on three there. But you have, you know, the good things you have about this is the, you've got the DI output, you've got the, um, attenuation. the, the attenuation in there. Yeah. You know. I mean, it's so look, just a wonderful amp. Right, back to reverb on three. Yeah. We'll try a bit of the tremolo now, and then we'll okay. we'll go on over to like the DI output and, and the attenuation as well. Um, I kind of feel the one thing that the Princeton didn't need, in my opinion, was the attenuation. It's like, it's only a 10 watt, 10, 12 watt amp anyway. But, but still people at home sitting yeah, in a yeah. flat somewhere, yeah. having this amp is just too loud right. because you, you go you go one and then you go a million, you know? So I've got I've got everything on four as four? far as as far as the let's see what that sounds like. I think four now. will so, not it's not intense enough. Alright. Yeah, go eight. So you're gonna go eight on intensity, are you? Yeah. God, that's how I I'm like intense, coffee. man. I'm uh, intense. So this is still uh <laughs> green out. It's not as intense, is yeah. it? Okay, go, go back. Now it feels like it is. I just changed that to nine. Yeah, sorry. Speed is wow. a little over three here now, and the intensity is just so eight, got, nine, eight thirty. So you've got to dial these in very yeah. slightly differently. But that to could be. Do I, am I hearing now? Again, my <laughs> my knowledge of the internal circuit, at the Princeton, might let me down a bit here. I vaguely remember it's a tube-driven um, tremolo circuit. Tremolo circuit. Mm -hmm. I think, and again, I don't know if it's psychosomatic. I think I'm hearing a bit of extra crispy drive with the Les Paul through the when. So let's just let me see if I can hear that. So again. I go on again on an E minor here. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> this is the problem. As soon as you know, your mind starts going. Oh, I can I think hear the I difference. I can hear a difference now. Yeah. So the uh, you, you have to like not know and just accept. So anyway, look. Amazing, amazing. Let's let's go uh, turn the tremolo system. I mean, love this amplifier. I love this so much. That's such a good um, amp. You're not having that back either, Fender. Let's try a couple. Let's try a fuzz. Let's try a fuzz. It. I mean, this is going to really mix it up, right? See if we okay. can get. So this is a silk tone fuzz here. Yeah. Oh, I'm clicking the wrong switch. Reverb down to two. Sounds, that sounds, sounds plastic, more nasally, cardboard. doesn't it? Cardboard. Hasn't got the bottom end, maybe, that the... Just go that's back really again. interesting. Yeah. That... I'm back. Then it sounds like a, uh, you're speaking in a pocket. Interesting. Let me try. That's okay, very so if I, interesting, if I turn isn't the bass end up a bit. Yeah. We found it. Uh, we found, found it. Found the thing, Achilles heel. Uh, in a way, I, I almost feel like there has to be something you can do to highlight. The difference because it, it's just it's too you know, nailed va on valve is so organic 
yeah, and it's, digi digital is lots of ones and zeros, yeah. isn't it? There's, Organic, a, there's a point at which you just have to go. It, it, it can't do. Good the same. point. The good point. The uh, the uh, QC. You know the um, yeah. can't do fuzz. Doesn't like fuzz. It doesn't does like it, fuzz because they can't. Doesn't can't work an fuzz algorithm into it, but it doesn't like modeling. Fuzz, it can't do it? the algorithm because right. it just goes. I don't know what's going on here. It's too. You so know, it's too much going on. We're going to stay on my the, brain in these videos. We're going to stay on the Princeton Tone Master Princeton, and I'm just going to show you the attenuation. I think is it five position? Mm. One, it's two, good. three, four, five, six. Six positions. Mm. Oh, with the first one being off. So actually, it's. Is it off? I think oh, no, it's 0.1 okay. watt. I think it's 0.1 watt and then up to 12. Oh, that's right. Off is the standby switch, yeah. isn't it? Where you just, okay, yeah. fine. Right, so let, here's in its quietest mode. Yeah, we can, we'll we can talk annotate, over this. Annotate on screen what, what this actually is. I'm guessing we're, we're it's talking. less than a watt. We're talking over this. Though. So let's have like, if you, a Princeton cranked. It's a great little overdriven club you sound, know what, isn't it? it? Yeah, and I think, can you switch back to this one? Mm. Because the thing with the volume on these is it doesn't get much louder once you get up, it just gets more cranky. that on but, 10 but it sounds yeah. great but it's 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 but not course, it's not loud loud you no, know no but you in order to get it like this you'd need some sort of external attenuation yeah. right exactly that's so what i'm back saying to the, yeah. back to this one here yeah. i'll just step up again i'll leave it with the volume at four and i'll just step up I'm just going to call it as well. I think it's overkill to have when you've only got ten watts in the first place. Yeah. To have six different positions of attenuation. Two or three, right? Yeah, I Sorry, agree. Two, but not like I imagine two, they've just two. used the same circuit from the bigger amplifiers to produce yeah, it. Absolutely. So, so far, with the exception of the fuzz pedal, which I think exposed it a little bit, I'm actually going again. I think this is an absolutely genius little amplifier. Absolutely. Um, do you try a quick drive? Just yeah. Quick, let's just do some quick, drive pedals in so here. So what, why are we here? So five here, five, five. Five, 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 yeah. five, and five. And two and a half. Okay, so you're, you're still on the tone mask. It's the Dane, mild gain. That was my bad. I didn't think it sounded oh, as loud, but I'd left the attenuation on very slightly. Naughty. So, yeah, sorry. Let's do. It's up here. It sounds the same. Doesn't it? You know how we say sometimes on an acoustic guitar, the only difference between, say, a 500 pound one and a 5,000 pound one it's the, is there's a little bit yeah. more dynamic it's range. It's dynamic, yeah, yeah. I, I almost feel it's like when you push it with some drive, you're just starting to go, yeah, it feels to me like the, the valve one can do a little bit more top and a little bit more bottom. But it's not, it's not like a totally different sounding amplifier. It's just, it's, it's, it's you know, it's percentages, isn't it? What, um, yeah. What's your carbon like in there, or your, your, um, your... just a bit of oh, more dry? <laughs> Here, 
here's an interesting one as well. My hearing, if what? you're if you're stopping between the switching, so play something, stop, switch, yeah. play it again, they sound almost identical to me, but actually doing the switching whilst you're playing, my ear picks out the jump really? more. Really? Yeah. I didn't I I was just paying attention to that riff. I thought it was a good riff, but you're right. probably right. Let's That's do a good pedal the, as well, isn't it? Holy let's, smokes. Let's do the DI now. I, I, but whilst, just before we, we, we change this around, I, I should tell you, the, the Little Princeton is uh, arriving in the UK in October, November 2022. <laughs> do you know, I'm so confused what year it is now, 2022. This year. Um, tell and, me about it, tell me about it. Uh, is $7.99. Okay. Uh, and obviously the Princeton, the 65 Princeton is has been available and is has been available for years and years and years and will continue to be available for years and years and years. Um, but I think these are now twelve or thirteen hundred pounds. And then there's the so hand wired version. Oh yeah, that's the two next thousand one. Is this, this is not the one we have here, is it? The hand wired. No, this is a sixty-five. The normal. Okay, one. yeah. So we need. There's the, a custom shop sixty-four reissue, uh, which you know is hand wired and loads of money. Yeah. Right. We'll plug these in. So what you're yeah. going to see now is you're going to see the Royer move a little bit and this we won't need a mic on at all. We'll just have the uh, XLR cable at the back. Yeah. So we're plugged in now. What we're hearing in the room is still literally just going to be this amp and this amp. So we, our reactions aren't really going to be anything to go by for this bit. What you're hearing though is this amp mic'd up uh, with a really expensive microphone, by the way, a microphone that costs, costs more, more than the than amp, the amp. Uh, versus this amp using its emulated output, only its emulated yeah. output, uh, e but emulating that microphone. <laughs> kind of yeah. cool, right? So, so there's two in the back. One is number one is a 57, and number two is the Royer. We've put that one on number two. Yeah, I'll switch between them. And yes, but we we need to switch that in the middle because I assume no, but, that. Okay, so let's just let's just hear this with the Royer. The Royer. First. So that's a dynamic This amp. one now. Okay. Now, just because it can, uh, I'll just switch it to the 57 emulation. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. essentially emulating the output with a different mic on the front. There is also you can switch off the emulation. So if you have a, if you want to run this into a, your own IR, um, uh, lo yeah, your own speaker simulation box, you can absolutely do that as yeah. well. But here you go, here's the 57. Uh, let's go back to the Royer emulation on this. Uh, and just have a quick, what does it sound like with your Dane pedal? Okay. Yeah, so again, please comment below because it's only you're hearing the, the difference there. Um, I'm going, you know, I'm just going off of how impressed I was with the it. emulated output on when I listened back yeah. to things like the, the deluxe version of this. Um, what you absolutely can do on the Tone Master version, and it's entirely down to you, you can run the amp in silent mode with just the DI coming mm -hmm. out if you want. You can run the DI and the amplifier simultaneously and still attenuate the amplifier to be whatever mm -hmm. volume you want yeah, it to yeah. be. Yeah, good for stage, so got separate good for stage. Outputs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And um, it's like air in the car, boom. Yeah, I mean, so there you go. I, I think that that's... Uh, I mean, what we can take away from this, in my opinion, is that this guitar is absolutely incredible. <laughs> And they are that you can buy a, a a copy of replica of this one in the shop. It's linked below. But also that if you're a fuss man, fuzz, yeah, that might not be the right one for you. 
Well, I, I think that, that's my takeaway. So what are the differences between the two? Really, you've got quite a lot cheaper than this one. A heck of a lot lighter than this yeah. one. Well, I say a heck of a lot. Quite a bit. And functionals, but functionals, yeah. um, um, the functions are much. You know, reliability much has been an interesting one. Some people say, are you going to be able to buy parts for a Tone Master amplifier in 15 years' time or whatever? I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. But in the short term, you know, this is absolutely susceptible to valves deciding to be valves. This is soldering things that goes and breaks and get so, wet and damp. And I don't like know. Your but, but yes, wife. but. If you, does it sound identical? No, not quite. Does it sound insanely close? Absolutely. Yeah. So I, I kind of, you know, as I said, I still, nothing's really changed my opinion of Tone Master is still my favorite use of digital technology of everything. I agree. Um, and I, you know, I, I've said this before, I would I would love Marshall to be thinking, oh, how do we do something similar with a blues breaker and Vox yeah, this, going, how yeah. do we do something, something I mean, similar with an AC30? Lainey just brought that out. They've got an idea yeah. with it where they've got the outputs, and, but it's still tubes in there, you know, but, so it's still... But there you go. So that is the Tone Master Princeton Reverb. Um, links are below. I'm pretty sure by the time this video comes out, either the amps will be in stock or they'll literally be just a few days away from being in stock, so you'll be able to pre-order away. Um, it's great, man. I mean, yeah. you can't go wrong. It depends on what you want and what you need. Depends on what you need. There's always going to be the aficionado that goes, I, I mean, just I, need that. I love this. It's such a good amp, man. It's yeah. one of my favorite amps. But there you go. You've heard them. There you are, side by side. Um, we're not side trying to fool anybody. Side. Just a straightforward switch. There you go. What do you think? Uh, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Please like and subscribe. Uh, yes, we shall see you in another video soon. Au revoir.